Hi, my name is Elizabeth Irwin. I have worked as a playwright with San Diego Rep on my play, My Manana Comes. The short play I recently wrote for San Diego Rep uh, is called Outside Chicken. And I think it's important right now because it shows us how you can be in a physical space that doesn't mean you have to live there. You can live in your mind, in your heart, and by sharing of yourself with others, you can remind yourself who you are outside your current circumstances and physical location. I wrote this play based on an exercise I do with my students at the federal prison in Brooklyn about which 30 seconds of your life you would relive if you could. I've always enjoyed this exercise because I think it both forces the respondent to really hone in on this incredibly brief period of time that holds such an important memory for them. Um, and also because it shows us how remembering things from our life doesn't have to have the negative connotation of living in the past or not being present but how it can actually help us be more present as we shore up the idea of who we are and what's important to us and the way that we've lived in the world. As an artist, I think it's always important for me to write about things I genuinely care about and connect with. And when I don't, I think it shows in the work and vice versa. So thank you for watching my first ever sock puppet play. And a big shout out to my friend Jamal Solomon who filmed and edited it. Enjoy. On a scale of no to yes, what do you think about the pizza? What about the cheese? No. What about the sauce? No. What about the crust? No. What about the hot sauce? Yes! Frank and one of the following. Outside pizza. Outside chicken. What kind of chicken? Baked. I'm not playing. Grrr. How about lightning? No. Not lightning baseball. It's always lightning baseball. Na 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 na. Then? Lightning. Philosophy. I'll allow it. Is it better to hurt or be hurt? Be hurt. Is it better to have nothing or everything? Nothing. Is it better to be smart or happy? Smart. Is it easier to love or be loved? Love. Does it hurt more to remember or forget? It's called lightning. I don't know. You? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Maybe we could see. How we do that. Does it hurt right now? Everything hurts. Yeah, well, maybe it hurts from forgetting. So maybe let's remember. Yeah, okay. What should we remember though? What if you could relive 30 seconds of your life again? An excellent 30 seconds. Can I change it? No. You can just relive it. Just like it was. An excellent 30 seconds. Uh-huh. What would you pick? Any 30 seconds? Any. Just 30? Just 30. And I can't change them? Nope. One time. I'm sleeping, right? I'm sleeping. I worked all day. I've been up since five o'clock. And it's evening now. I'm passed out on the couch, probably snoring, you know? I bet. Anyways, I'm on the couch. And suddenly, I feel this hand on my arm. And it's my daughter. She's only three. And she's shaking me. Not rough. She's only three. But she's shaking me awake. I barely squint my eyes open. Okay. And I'm trying to figure where I am. I was in a good sleep. I mean, I was tired. Oh, was I tired. That was probably the 12th day in a row I'd worked. Up at 5 a.m. every day. But she keeps shaking me, gentle, but still. And finally I'm awake and she's pointing to her mouth and I say, what? What? Daddy's sleeping. Snoring. 
anyways, she says, food, pointing to her mouth, food. I say, baby, baby, go ask your mother. Go ask your mother. And she shakes her little head and goes, no, I want you, daddy. Maybe you had to be there. I was there. In the remembering. What about you? Well, you know I'm a plumber. Was a plumber. Am a plumber. Yeah. And when you start, you gotta learn. So you're an apprentice. That's what they call you. And you're an apprentice for a while. Four, five years, really. You're learning from a master plumber. Or a journeyman, but... I get it. I get it. So I'm learning and watching and learning and watching and assisting and watching and asking questions and learning and helping and watching. And then finally, one day, my boss says, Hey T, you're up. And oh my God. Big leagues now. Big leagues now. Nothing can stop you now. Anyway. And it was this lady's house. And the toilet was backed up to the backed up, you know. There was a mess on the floor seeping under the door. And every crack, the whole spot was sullied. Must have smelled something awful. Did it ever. So I'm up. And I'm trying to remember what I watched and I learned and I watched and I learned. And believe me, this wasn't no plunger job. This I had to use the closet auger, all right? And I'm doing it, I'm doing it, and you gotta make a bigger mess to get rid of the first mess. And so I'm working, I'm working. I'm being careful, I'm focused, I'm in there. I'm deep, and suddenly, shit. Oh yeah, whoosh! It's free, it's all free. Running down the pipes like it should, whoosh! Whoosh. I swear, it felt like it was inside me. Whoosh. Everything was free. <laughs> you have an answer now? Huh? Does it hurt more? I know. To remember or forget. to forget. It hurts more to forget. Yeah.